bourbon. Uh, I think a bourbon would be lovely. That vanilla element bringing that that nice sweetness. Oh yeah, I think this would be a, a killer in a bourbon. Hey, how's it going? And welcome to Whiskey Whims with me, Stuart. Yesterday, I, I forgot to rate where I'd put the uh, Golani or Jolani, however it's pronounced. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just rate that the now before we get into the review. So this one, I reckon I would put, yeah, just above the Glen uh and in, in the, the rating system. So yeah, I'll read that out at the end so we know what we're catching up. Uh, I'll, and I'll put a little graphic here so we know what's what. Next we've got number 10, which is if the cat gets off my cheap sheet. It's Glen Murray, so it's a Highland whiskey. We don't even want to too much about Glen Murray, I don't feel. Uh, most of us will know about Glen Murray. Uh, and about what they produce. Sorry, the cat's just knocking everything over. A little bit of a nuisance. So yeah, we'll get right down to this. Uh, and I'm not drinking these. I, I consumed the first six in, in, in one sitting. Uh, and I've decided that was a bad idea, so... Oh! Do you want to smell? He really does not like it. Right, so this is weird. <laughs> Thanks for that. This is... Similar to the, uh Cotswolds. Similar to the milk and honey. That has got that milky element to it. Um, I'm sure someone who's geekier than me or knows more than me, a little bit more intelligent in the world of whiskey will be able to tell me where that uh, smell comes from. But yeah, there, there's a milky element here, but there's also a lot of crustacean, um, a lot of shellfish, uh, or shell, yeah, shellfish. Like, um, yeah, it just reminds me of being by the sea. And I'm almost certain I do get sea vibes with Glen Murray. With Glen Murray, however you want to say it, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. But this is uh, it's quite interesting that it's in the new make. I thought that it would be part of the uh, maturation process because of where it's matured. Like say it's matured next to the sea on Isla or something, you get the sea salt coming in. But this seems to have captured... Uh, the crustacean, the seaside vibes from the stills, from the fermentation, from the distillation. There is that milk still there, but once you get past that, there's like a definite shellfish smell. Just imagine being knit down by a beach and um, fishermen at the side of the beach, very um, bringing in their lo late latest catch or whatever, that it's just yeah, it's almost fishy, but it's more shellfish. Uh, quite sweet as well. There's a sweetness to, towards the end of it that reminds me of... And I'm just going to link it back to the, the, the shellfish. Like a, a prawn marios uh, kind of sauce. That pink sauce you get. Yeah, so there's, there's a sweetness, there's a, a shellfish, there's the milk again. I don't know where that milk comes from, it's so weird. Maybe I've used this glass to drink milk out of, or maybe it's the cat's breath. We'll go for the palate. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. It's going to be hard to rate this one compared to the others because I can't really remember them all now. But that soft, brittle, soft, hard, brittle um, toffee, something like that. Like, uh, uh, yeah, cinder toffee or whatever it's called. Something something along those lines. Kind of dame bar, or it used to be dime bar. Um, that, that, that thin toffee layer with a little bit of nuts through it. Yeah, it's, it's nutty. This is, this, is, uh, this is good stuff. This is good. This is as good new make gets, I suppose, <laughs> from what I've had. Uh, and then they have to mature it, and they have to balance it out and try and decide flavour it and uh, try and make it even better, uh, that must be some task. Or is it just a case of firing it in a cask and seeing how it goes, hoping for the best? Mm. 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 
Yeah. I love when that first hits. When that first hits the mouth, this um, real sweet element just immediately takes control. Then a spiciness comes through. Um, from spitting it out, it's a little peppery. It's a little nippy. You're getting a bit of the AB3. Uh, AB3. I'm not even drinking as well. <laughs> ABV through. Um, I'm just getting high off contact. Uh, so I'll add a little bit of water, see how that opens it up. But yeah, a real sweetness. There's nuts again. Uh, I want to say macadamia nuts, something like that. Uh, I'm probably just talking complete garbage, but or complete rubbish. Uh, <laughs> macadamia nuts. I can't, I'm sure macadamia are, are sweet nuts. There is a sweetness to it. There's that spicy element. Uh, black cracked pepper. Uh, and like I said, that lovely, uh, I'm almost praying, that lovely cinder toffee uh, initially, the sweetness. So with the water, right, so the, the, the water's um, completely uh, removed the milk. That saltiness, uh, sea vibe, crustacean, 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 isn't really there anymore. It's opened up more for kind of tulips, uh, is it more, or lilies, something like that. A nice smelling flower, a nice fragrant flower. Yeah, very... There's um, yeah, a little bit of sweetness there, I'm trying to think what that was. It just it hit my nose uh, in the right spot and then kind of left. Like a... What was that? Maybe like a coriander or something, like... Something real, really fragrant and quite uh, powerful because I think coriander can be quite overwhelming when it's in curries and things like that. Uh, it can kind of overtake other flavours. Yeah, coriander for sure. This is interesting. This has got uh, complexity already and it's not even aged, which is quite fascinating. The A lot of the other uh, new makes were quite uh, samey in, 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 in the sense that uh, there were certain, some flavours but not many, That this seems to have a kind of array of flavours. The, the fact that it's changed from that crustacean without the water and then adding the water is completely, uh, it's quite a contrast to a floral, um, knocking down my, my stuff, a floral element, it's, it, yeah. The palette with the water. Mm. Nom, 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 nom. So the palate's, uh, the, the water's taken away that sweetness unfortunately. It's dulled that down quite significantly. It's there, a bit very subtle. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm not measuring how much water I'm adding. Uh, this isn't an, at all a, a perfect uh, laboratory environment or a kind of research. Uh, so I'm just kind of spilling water in here and there to see what it does. But uh, again, these floral aspects are coming through in the palette now. The there's, like I said, coriander in the, the nose. I'm thinking now more like a lavender um, flavor almost, like a kind of Parma violet flavor, something like that. Quite, yeah, quite fragrant in the palette. I preferred it before, if I'm going to be honest. I preferred it just straight off without the added water. Uh, I maybe drowned it a little. I really liked that sweet element that was coming through, but this seems to have already off the still, uh, not even aged, quite a bit of complexity about it. So it seems like their 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 uh, new make is a very rather robust foundation to build upon. And it'd be quite alarming <laughs> to see how they could go wrong, and I suppose that's just bad cask selection if they did go wrong. But th this should be a winner when putting into some sort of cask a bourbon. Uh, I think a bourbon would be lovely that vanilla element bringing that that nice sweetness oh yeah i think this would be a, a killer in a bourbon i maybe should have just kept it and matured it in like a tiny cask so where where would this go uh with regards to rating I, i'm slightly uh i'm almost wanting to put it to the top but i can't really remember the door knock uh, and maybe that's a sign uh, to say that this should be at the top so I think I'm going to put the Glen Murray at the top. So what we've got now is I'll, I'll put a, um, a, a visual up. We've got Glen Murray uh, from most favourite or favourite to least favourite. We've got Glen Murray, uh, we've got Dornock, 
Linders Abbey, then we've got Cotswold, uh, then we've got White Peak, then we've got Golani or Julani, the uh, Israeli uh, new make. Then there's Glen Alkey, um, Dingle's second last and most furthest last, <laughs> the, yeah, the, the very last, is uh, Milk and Honey, which was just not great at all. So, thanks for watching. I've been Stuart, this has been Whiskey Whims, uh, he's been Jasper, I'll see you later.